This episode of Worth a Shot is brought to you by Magic Bullet. Explore even more at themagicbullet.com. Welcome to the Worth a Shot season finale. Today we'll have a very friendly competition between Steven and Ricky on who can make the best horoscope themed cocktail. And they'll each be using the magic bullet to create their very special recipe. Ricky, would you like to explain your drink a little? My sign is a Libra and the symbol of Libra is a balance. So I was inspired by this 50-50 cocktail called the Miami Vice, which is half strawberry daiquiri, half pina colada that I deconstruct. Okay. Oh, that's one of my trigger words is deconstruct in the food industry. When I hear that, I'm just... Steven, would you like to explain to us your cocktail? It's the unhinged Sorcerer Steve Scorpio-based cocktail that will represent the many facets and seasons of my life. It'll be a green tea-based cocktail. Oh. oh. You're kind of matching that vibe right now. Yes. In a little bit, we have Joyce coming by to judge our very talented bartenders. Boys? I need to become unhinged. Oh. <laughs> to the stars. Oh, go, 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 go. Oh. All right, Super. you ready? All right, let's get started. Bye. Today, Ricky is going to be making a Miami Vice inspired cocktail. So can you tell us a little about that? For sure. So the Miami Vice is made up of two parts. It's strawberry daiquiri and pina colada. But I am not using strawberry for my strawberry daiquiri. I am instead using ube powder to make it purple because the color Libra is, is purple and pink apparently. So I want to honor that and make a purple concoction with a ghee buttered fat washed rum, key lime, simple syrup, and I'm going to blend it up in our lovely magic bullet to make the base. And for the other portion, the pina colada, I am doing a lemongrass infused rum with coconut, lime, pineapple, and I'm gonna whip it up into a beautiful whipped cream, a pina colada whipped cream. Will it whip? Will it blend? Will it taste good? I don't know, but I hope it does. Oh, it's gonna be great. Really? Oh, thank you for the support. Let's get started. Woo! Hell yeah. Uh, Libras unite. <laughs> Where are my Libras at? Okay. <laughs> Okay. You got it. Okay. So for the first step that I'm going to do, I'm going to fat wash our lovely rum with some ghee butter, because I want a richer flavor if it's gonna be a sweet drink. So this is the rum that I'm gonna be using, and I'm gonna add a couple bar spoons worth of butter in here. When I say couple, I meant we really want to taste it, you know what I mean? Once this is set, we're gonna to want to shake the butter with the rum all together so that it mixes well. You want to make sure that it's very well washed before you freeze it so that the flavor properly mixes. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna freeze it and separate the fat and our result will be the ghee butter fat washed rum. All right guys, so once you freeze this overnight, the rum should not freeze, but you should have a layer of butter. It looks like a Parmesan disc. Once the butter freezes, you could just strain the rum. And I use a coffee filter because it is, to me, the most accessible, but also it has a cleanest strain. Mmm. There are ghee butter undertones, which I think is nice. It adds a layer in the overall drink. While we let this strain, I'm going to juice some key limes. Why key limes, Ricky? Cause it's, to me, reminiscent of where rum comes from. And in terms of flavor, key limes are going to be a little bit more floral and bright than regular limes. It doesn't make a world of a difference, but I think it's a nice considered touch in a daiquiri. And the beautiful thing about this drink is that this is something you could replicate at home. Even the Magic Bullet is under a hundred bucks. You guys can get crazy and wild affordably. So we have all the ingredients we need to make the strawberry daiquiri base, but in the meantime, I'm actually gonna be working on the pina colada with cream, which I'm very excited about. So because this is worth a shot, we cannot take an easy route. We have to infuse more rum with more things. But this one I'm not fat washing. This one I am using lemongrass to infuse our rum. So I'm going to muddle the lemongrass to release even more flavor 
an aroma to the rum. And I'm going to cut the stem. And once every lemongrass in, we're gonna top it off with a little rum and we'll let that sit for a few hours to make our lemongrass infused rum. So here's the infused lemongrass rum that I've let sit overnight. As always, I gotta smell it, taste it. Ooh, that's nice. It, it's, it's very light, very subtle. I love that I get it try alcohol for my job. Ooh, silky, sexy, seductive, I can't explain. I'm gonna use this for the whipped cream. Before I put it in here, I'm gonna shake up all the ingredients so that it's nice and cold. I'm gonna be adding two ounces of our lemongrass infused rum, equal parts pineapple and coconut. I'm going to shake this up with ice so it's nice and chilled for the whipped cream canister. Okay, so once we pour the pina colada mix, I'm going to add a heavy whipping cream in here to make this whippable. And then to give it one good shake, this is freezing now. Okay, please come out whipped. Oh, this is a nice, subtle pina colada whipped cream. When Joyce drinks this, she's gonna think it's just whipped cream. But she'll be like, oh, no, 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 wait, what? Mmm, mmm, mmm. We're done with the whipped cream. Let's construct the strawberry daiquiri. All right, it's finally time to assemble the cocktail. We are going to blend our strawberry daiquiri base. Do you want to fill your cup's worth with ice? That's what dictates how much ice should go into a blender when you're making your cocktail. So I'm gonna eyeball. This cup holds about this much ice. And if it's not enough, we'll add more. If it's too much, we'll add more fluids. So to construct this cocktail, we are going to add two ounce of our ghee butter fat washed rum one ounce of our key lime juice, one ounce of our simple syrup, and for our strawberry element, we are adding a nice healthy spoonful of ube powder to give it that purple Libra energy. Let's give it a whirl. I just wanna re-emphasize how little work I'm doing to blend this. It tastes Fantastic. I'm gonna add some extra crushed ice just because I want it to add even more oomph. I like how small and accessible this is for the home bartender or professional bartender. This is a very easy to grab equipment. I still want a dash more simple for good measure. You know, otherwise it'd be too watery. And I'm gonna give this another lovely whirl. Look at that color. This is gorgeous. Perfection. This is magic. Oh, th that's why they call it the magic bullet. We have this beautiful strawberry daiquiri base. I'm going to top it off with my pina colada foam. And finally, I'm going to garnish with something that I am calling disco cherries. Cherries are hard to skewer. I am going to sprinkle some edible glitter on this cherry because this is astrological. This is something bigger than you and me. I'm going to garnish this right on top, our pink Libra straw. And there you have it, big Libra energy. Dun, dun, dun. <gasps> My fellow Libra. Are you kidding? This drink is called Big Libra Energy <gasps> to match our energy. I was a little bit hesitant with like Miami being a Libra thing. Right. Like I was thinking more of like grounded. Right. But I think this feeds into our natural essence. Like <sighs> this is who we are. You said Classic. Libra like pretty things? Yeah. This is like an adult milkshake. Yeah. You know, like a- Your favorite. <laughs> I think you're gonna win. I don't even know what's gonna Yeah, I think you're gonna win. I need I just to have a, earn the title back. I know, we need it back. This is absolutely beautiful. Why don't you hang tight and then we'll bring in Steven. I'm excited. I wanna try it. I won't. Okay, bye. Okay, do you okay. wanna tell me about your recipe? Yes. Okay. So, Scorpio, we're weird little dudes. And so this drink is gonna be weird. I'm going to steep green tea in gin. That'll be kind of like the Steven aspect, you know, like getting. Ah. Oh, God. 
Let's get crazy with some limoncello. Oh, yeah. are we in Italy? This is a lemon drop martini cocktail mixer, agave. My personal favorite, absinthe. It can make you go crazy. Okay. It's known to do that. All right. And then the simple syrup. What are the nuts for? Nutmeg. So we're going to actually grate this on top for a little bit of flavor Ooh, and top. That's what a nutmeg looks like. And then we're gonna blend it all together in the magic bullet. Oh. Nice and simple, or so you think. Because on the outside, we seem simple, but on the inside, we're crazy. Are right? you excited? Are you feeling nervous? Are you feeling like you got this? Oh, no, I'm the I'm the reigning world champ. Okay. Of worth a shot. So what do I have to be worried about? Are we gonna get started? <laughs> Let's go. All right. So first thing we'll do is make our green tea concoction. Ricky. The problem with him is he's overthinking it. You gotta keep it simple, but not too simple. That's what I'm doing here. And let's add a little bitty bitty of gin. Uh, let's just ballpark this, you know? Can't overthink it. Yeah, that's good. It's a lot of gin. You know what? To kind of make this faster, because I'm impatient, again, Scorpio thing, I'm gonna add some more tea bags because this is taking too long. So more, let that go for a bit. Now, we bring out the magic bullet. Keeping it nice and simple and easy. You know what's wild about this thing is how compact it is. This can fit anywhere and it comes apart. So you just, look at that. Look how, look how nice and cute that is. We'll start off by adding some ice. Next up, we're going to add our limoncello. Mm. I did come up with measurements for this. You know what, no, bartending is from the heart. I'm not gonna measure. Two ounces. It looked like three, but it was two, don't worry. Next up, we need some simple syrup. Two ounces of this as well. Just to add a little bit of brightness, a little bit of sweetness, make it a little tasty for our friend Joyce, cause she likes a little sweetness. And then next, lime. I mean, lemon, man, God. We're gonna add an ounce of lime. So. <laughs> lemon, we have two ounces of lemon. Next up, and this is my favorite part, because I remember my first time having absinthe, and it changed my life forever. If you want to know what this does, look it up. I'm at a few dashes of this. How many? Six. I'm kind of scared, because this cheese is strong. We do have to add a little bit of our lemon drop mix. This is going to give it that lemon punch. Boom. Now, we finally add our green tea infused gin. Are you ready for the magic to happen? It's not what I expected it would come out to. It looks like kind of like a milkshake. Let me do one more blend. I'm gonna just get this just right. Wow, this thing is really strong. A little guy like that, it uh, really packs a punch. This is a, such a cool container. You know, I actually could see myself drinking it out of this magic bullet container. Oh, and it has ridges so it stands up like that. To finish this off here, we're going to pour this beverage into our bowl. I think it's a little small in volume and I want for Joyce, you know? Joyce is, she can handle her alcohol. I'm gonna make another batch, add more, and we'll be good to go. Oh, yes. I feel like a little witch who's about to eat some children. And finally, some nutmeg. Sprinkle that in. You know what? On the bowl, too. Make it really nice and fun and pretty. Woo! That's probably too much. <laughs> it's okay. This is the Unhinged Sorcerer Steam. All right, come back. I got something to show come you. Come back, please. Please. <laughs> please. Please help me. Wow. Yeah, what do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Why are you laughing? You sound like Ricky when he hasn't anything nice to say. No. Ah. Uh, I hope it tastes better than it looks. What? It looks great. Don't cup it like that. Please no. don't do that. You know? It feels like an island drink. Maybe you drink it on vacation. Oh, I feel very confident. Really? Sure. It's very me. Like, you look <laughs> at me and you're like, this is a normal guy. But then you drink it and you're like, damn, okay. that is one in seven billion. Okay. See what I mean? I see what you did there. Yeah. Well, let's get Ricky out here. Let's get Joyce out here and let the judging begin. Okay, so now we would like to welcome our very talented horoscope connoisseur, Joy. They're so obsessed with me. Damn. They called me back twice. We are. You see Steven trying to get points already? Yeah, I saw. Mm. Joyce, you're looking fire today. Uh -huh. 
everything about your mm. presence. You're Too lucky bad. I enjoy compliments. Yes, oh. but Joyce doesn't know what drink is yours. Okay, yeah. let me go get the drinks. Uh, dun, dun, why am I getting married in this? <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Ricky, I don't even. These drinks are absolutely stunning, but this reminds me of one time I went to a pool party and I had one of these. And let's just say, was I fully clothed by the end? No. Oh. So I'm kind of traumatized <laughs> by anything in a bowl. Oh, God. That's a devil spit right there. <laughs> you know, we're not going to ruin whose is whose. OK. But your description, on point. OK. For this drink, green tea infused gin, lemonade and lemon juice, lemoncello, absinthe, and freshly grated nutmeg for garnish. God may protect me as an in space, Lord Father, because if I act inappropriately, I will literally cry. You always double straw it, because I'm a bad bitch. Oh, OK. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. This one's good, though. Oh, my gosh. You got a big goal. <gasps> That's good. That's good. That's strong, baby. Yeah, that's good, baby. What does it taste like? Everything. <gasps> <gasps> See, I like to taste the liquor. I'm a liquor-based girl. You don't hide it from me. Don't run from me. Come here so mama can taste you. It's light. It's refreshing. Presentation is garbaggio. She's a crazy-looking girl, but she got a good personality. You know, she'll blunt the shit out of you. Substance over style. See, look, she made it classy. That's why I love her. <laughs> <laughs> and for this drink, we have ghee butter fat washed, aged rum, ube powder, key lime simple, and cherries dipped in glitter. Let's show off. <laughs> this is like, I just stole $2.3 million from my sugar daddy that unfortunately passed away due to an allergic reaction to peppers that I might have put in a stick, but I have no idea because I would never do that. I love my husband. <laughs> oh. Okay. That's good. I don't know whose drink this is, but how's the whipped cream? Uh, uh, let me let me get a taste. Mm. It tastes like a sexy version of a popsicle, like a childhood icy used to get on the corner in New York on a hot day mm. for ninety nine cents. Joyce, who do you declare the winner of the horoscope challenge? <laughs> this is so hard. You guys always make me make decisions. This drink. It reminds me of the girl who had secrets, you know, who didn't know who she was, but had an inkling towards it. You know, she's on the precipice of finding out who she is. And maybe she knows. Who she knows? does. This girl. Who is she? Fierce, scary. She likes to keep, you know, things balanced between the homies. She likes fashion and beauty, and she's a flirt. Will she point you? Who knows? She, she has her things together. I'm gonna have to go with this one. Oh! oh! Ricky Way I win that is the title. a winner! So this no. is a pina colada whipped cream oh. on top. Did you try the cherry yet? Mm. I love a fucking good salad. <laughs> Ricky, congratulations on winning the horoscope challenge. I kind of want Steven to be the winner in a very oh, weird shit. way. Oh, Stop Jesus being a Libra. Christ. <laughs> Thank you so much to Magic Bullet. Thank you to everybody who watched season two of Worth a Shot. We'll see you next time. I'm still taking both of them like last Yeah, you can go. That's Thank great. you. I'll be alone. Joyce just robbed us. Thank you. Good job. <laughs>